fuck are these? All right. Edifier contacted me a couple months ago, and they're like, hey, S350 dB. And I'm like, A, what? And I looked it up, 2.1, 300 bucks. All right, Edifier. I like Edifier. I fucking love Edifier. <sighs> Turns out, Edifier makes the nicest stuff. And I'm not joking. I unboxed these, these, these. And this little, little fucking cube, little fucking baby speaker that's smaller than my hand with a little tiny thing has the best edges and lineups and finish and nothing was out of place. It was like, I mean, there's no speaker up there. None of them have the sort of like attention detail that these had. And I've been abusing them for a couple of months. And yes, this is upside down, ignore that. And then you pick it up and it's like, well, this is gonna be lightweight. This thing weighs, I think I weighed them on the unboxing. I'm pretty sure this is like five pounds. It's like a five pound little, little speaker cube. And it's all the weights in the front. Here, you ready? Let's we'll unplug it for a second. Ready, 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 ready? Where's the tipping point? Where, oh, there it is. That's how far you need to tilt it forward before it flops onto its drivers. Because there's so much magnet in here. So, I'm gonna get right to the, the meat of the situation. See us, why would I spend $300 on this when I can get LSO, well, now I can get 305Ps, spend a little bit more, and get Atoms. Uh, Edifier makes other 2.0 systems, and the point is, this comes with it. Did you not just hear John Wick as I walked in? You're buying this because you're a base head. Or, and get this, this has been my main listening setup on my computer. My computer, this is my workstation where I, I swap things in and out. But when I'm done here, I have the long trip home of there. And when I'm sitting there, I have headphone stuff and the speakers, which are nice and small and flat, were under my 40 inch monitor right there with this big ass eight inch subwoofer behind it. And the fact, I, I can't, if I wanted to listen to the fluids right now, those fluids, those fluid audios, and they're fucking great. To put them on the desk doesn't work. It doesn't have to stick off here and it doesn't fit, I can't put it under. So these have a very, very good niche. Two, two people need this. And you only need those two to make a, a product. People who want the base, and this fucking delivers it, or people who want really small speakers. Now, you don't have to have it up here like, what was that Swan set up? The MT110s? M110s? 10, 10, 110, 10, 10, where the volume knob was on the subwoofer and you had the little baby cubes, but it was part of the system. As small as these are, you do not need to have this covering a lot of like the vocal range. When you when you get a, a setup with really tiny satellites, you tend to hear nothing but shrill highs, and then like the actual Barry White, when the Barry White starts talking, when Barry motherfucking White starts singing, he comes out of this. And Barry White would still come out of this because he's Barry White. But you won't be offended by what these little babies can do without this. Well, you'll always be this because this is what's powering everything. Let me show you around. So, little baby monitor, little baby, little baby stand monitor, right? This is the passive one, goes on the left. The wire is detachable. It is a five pin old ass keyboard wire, like I even before my time keyboard. And I'm gonna put that right up there. This is the powered side. Well, no, actually, no, that's not the right way to describe it. This is the controller side. So you get the same speaker in the front, except for over here, you get an indicator. This fucker thing has five inputs. PC and auxiliary are full size RCAs. It's got fiber optic, it's got coaxial digital, and it's got Bluetooth. And they're all switchable. So here's your indicator that shows you what you're doing. By the way, I dropped this and I'm really sad because I... Okay. Here's your side controls. I'm gonna talk about these for a minute because remember that whole build quality thing? Like, like look at those $1,100 fluids or... You turn the knobs on these, like this one's a digital knob. This is the volume and input slots. You press it, in your front you see optical, coaxial, Bluetooth, PC, which is what I have the RCAs into right now. And then you turn it and it's a, it's a very nice, 
and it's all metal. These are metal knobs, and they're like, there's flat sides, and it's great. Then you come up here, and these are the bass and treble adjustments, and they're analog, and they, they go negative six, positive six, and I swear to God on my fucking channel, there is no other knob I've ever turned that feels as smooth as this. The only one I could think of that comes close is on that THX 789 uh, amplifier, which is, is the gain switch, which is like <laughs> this is like knob feel. Where's the knob feel, dude? Get in here. Come, come touch my bass knob. So you get bass and treble adjustments right on the side. You volume right here. Um, oh, and then you get to the back, and you realize that this is an attached cable. So whereas that one has five pins and can come out, this one doesn't have five pins and can come out because it has, it has to do bi amplification for the tweeter and the woofer, and then the control panel in the front, and then a digital knob for the volume, and then bass, and then treble because the amplifier is in here. Creaky chair is creaky. So let's, and this fucking thing is heavy. Heavy, heavy. Like Doc Brown and Martin McFly, heavy. Is there something wrong with the world's gravity in the future? Yes, Doc, there is. These fucking speakers are heavy. This thing. This is why we're interested. This is why you're interested. You, Zeus, I like bass. Zeus, I want, I want the bass. Well, studio monitors will give you enough. Like, I make arguments all the time. I will see people who are like that and I'll be like, look, don't buy a piece of shit because you like bass, buy this and it'll be better for you. And up until now, that's been the way I've been able to go about things. Like get get them JBLs at home, get them 305Ps, get them into the Atom T5Vs. They'll appreciate the sound and the, the separation and everything and then they could add bass later. But what if you could appreciate the sound and everything and then have bass now? And it's only $300 and it comes with a remote because that's another thing. I usually recommend powered monitors and stuff. And while there's a couple edifiers, they're usually a little more money than this. And then they, they do do good bass, but oh my fucking God, you cannot beat a dedicated subwoofer. An eight inch fucking subwoofer cannot be beaten by like, I'm trying to think of any speakers that could do it. Have a fight in the comments. I like when people fight in the comments. Looking at the back of this, because this is where all the gold is. Standard power plug figure eight. Here's where the um, five pin from the left channel plugs in. And I'm distracting you now, I'm looking around, oh, with my phone, and there's a oh. And here is where uh, the DB15 plug is for the right channel. Seriously, out of fire? I mean, they're running by amp, so I need two for that and two for that. Just like this has five pins, I guarantee you only four of them are being used. Two for that and two for that. So they need four pins on this side, plus the controller, plus the LED in its front, plus the power for the LED, because everything's coming from here. So satellite speaker right, you're gonna, you're gonna take a trip back to memory lane, because computer monitors kids used to be run on these. Computer monitors, yeah. Yeah, no, like HDMI, but like old, for old people. I'm not, can I screw it in? I'm just gonna screw it in. I miss, I miss the satisfaction of screwing these in. My, um, my NAS has an eSATA cable that has those, and I'm like, I miss tightening these. Just so fucking tight, you'd wiggle it, and then you'd tighten it some more. You remember doing that, I know you do. So anyway, back here. Oops, sorry. Plug the power to. Coaxial digital, it's upside down, shut up. Coaxial digital input. Optical input with a little little cap that I'm gonna keep right there. So I could hook this up straight from one of my optical leads. Right now the army DAC's using it. Um, so you have coaxial input, optical input, which means hello, television, home theater destroyer because remote control. Sound bar destroyer, sound bar destruction. Sound bars can go fuck themselves. How's that? Can I make a t-shirt on Teespring and put it in the, um, put it on my store that just says sound bars can go fuck themselves? Is that allowed? I've said it in YouTube, so why wouldn't they be able to print it on a t-shirt? Don't, don't argue with me. My logic is flawless. So, you got four RCAs, they're both inputs, and I've got it set right now to PC, which is one, PC is two, 
Let's plug in our power. You got a main power bus switch here, which does not, it's not what you're gonna use to turn this thing on and off at night. For that, you're going to use the side of this, that input switch, you hold it down, speaker turns off. Ready, I'm gonna turn it off. It's off, I turn it on, it's on. We're, everyone cool, we're all cool with that? Very cool, cool, cool. I'm cool, you're cool, we're cool, thank you. So, imaging. Let, let's talk about how speakers sound. Lumps of bass, great. I actually have the bass turned down a little bit when I'm like in this configuration. And when it was behind my monitor, I turned it up a little bit because fuck you, I love my bass sometimes. Yes, that's from Spaceballs. You knew you were gonna get it. I should have held it to the end. But yeah, some Spaceballs is playing and you get trumpets and you get like, they did a really, really good job of picking these drivers and setting up. If you're running by amplification, that they, you know, the, the ampl there's four amplifiers in here, actually five, one for the driver and then two in each. They're DSP correcting this fucking to the nines because these sound amazing. The imaging and the... <laughs> When it's quiet, it's quiet. When it's high, it's sharp. You get this across like you do on like really good, even with no waveguide. Oh, by the way, did you notice? I don't know if I pointed it out. Did you notice that around the tweeter here, that's a ring of foam to soften the edges as it curves around like a waveguide would, would direct it. It's just, just killing the, ah, oh, I've never, that's good. Okay. Space balls, no. That's very loud. Now, very loud on a desk is like, all right, it's cute. But I'm talking about taking these into your living room. I'm talking about you have five inputs. Bluetooth does not count. So four inputs. Game console, home theater PC, straight out of your TV. If you want to do, you know, I watch Amazon on my TV. Boom, plug it in fiber optic. Bluetooth, added bonus. It's a soundbar killer. It just... Fiber optic cable. In the description of this video will be two links. This and a fiber optic cable. If your TV is built since like 2013, it should just have a fiber optic output. Buy this, plot the subwoofer down on the right. Oh, I should point out one thing. This cable for the left hand side, which is nice and removable and doesn't match the cable on the right hand side. My OCD is fine. It doesn't care that this one is like bronzed and clear and that that one's black. But what does bother me is that this one's 11 feet long and that one's five. So that sort of limits your placement options. Now they're on the desk here, no one's bothering you. I mean, I'm doing a review of it, it has to be here. But in a real life scenario, this would be on the floor. And it would have to be on the floor over there because I can't put it on the floor over there. I mean, I could if I switched the speakers and then plug the left and right in, but then if I'm using Bluetooth or a coaxial or fiber optic, it's going to make that the right speaker. So it's just, I wish that this one was longer or detachable and I can go out and buy a DB15 cable if they even sold anymore. So a little bit of a wonkiness with like 11 foot on that side, five foot on this side, just sort of, this is always gonna to be to the right. So if you have a television set up where you can't put the sub on the right, Fuck you. Actually, no, don't fuck you. I guarantee you, you know what? There's gonna be three links in the description. These, a fiber optic cable, and a DB15 extension cable. I'm gonna find one. You don't have to go to eBay to find it. So that you could extend that speaker further away than it currently is. And then you can put this somewhere where you wanna go. Cause it's just a little bit short. Where was I? Was I talking about things? Oh, the remote, we should get the remote. By the way, very, very little distortion in this sub when you crank it. Like I can get it to sound like I can get this port on the side to chuff a bit, but I'm pushing it to the point where I'm like trying to break it. And the speakers never give up either. Cause again, good quality design DSPs will fix everything. The remote is round. By the way, it pops from my DAC, not from, from the way my FUBAR set up, not because the speakers. So when it goes,
That's from Konosuba. That, oh my god, it's so... Di it's like having... It's so weird, because it's like having two tweeters. One that's set to very high, and one that's set to pretty high, and yet there's still vocal clarity that comes out of it. Like, I could turn the bass down all the way. Just there, down all the way. That symbol just... Sh like, fuck. I need to really need to find a chair that doesn't squeak. Unless it adds, what do you think about my squeaky chair? Say so in the comments because my squeaky chair bothers the shit out of me. All right, bass back up. I need you to understand that these are good speakers. I'm not just saying, hey everybody, here are a pair of speakers, and by the way, they come with a massive subwoofer, bro. So you're gonna be blasting them fucking tunes, bitches, be on your dick constantly. No, I'm saying that these are a really quality set of speakers, tuned finitely to listen to the finest in music and eat the finest of cheeses and drink the finest of wines. I don't know. This should be a $600 set. All right. When I saw them for 300, I'm like, all right, when I unbox them, I'm like, wait a second. These are built way too nice for $300. And then you hear them and it's like, fuck. So deal of the century. Would I say take them over like Adam T5Vs. Well, that comes down to if you need one of these and one of these. If you're a bass head, the Adams get low, but nothing get like. I don't think I have get low. And of course, it's not searching things. Nope. I have Yellow Submarine and Lindsey Sterling. How do I not have Lil John? Lil. Come on. Lil John. Aw, oh, that sucks. I feel like my day is ruined now. Tell them niggas that be holding the wall. Fuck y'all, get the flow. Stop. All right, here's, a, here's point number one. Don't put it here. I'm suffering getting hit by this thing. And those are up really loud, like very fucking loud. Like I know they work in a living room because of how loud they get. So they get f finessy. They can get so finessy. Let's we can turn the volume down like this. You can turn the volume on the remote. Remember the remote? Let's talk about the remote. It's round. If you haven't noticed yet, it's round. And the problem with a round remote is you don't know which side is up and down. It's, you have a little bit of an indicator if you see the window, but if you see the window, it's backwards. And you look on top and you've got power, and then all five options. So you got PC, auxiliary, Bluetooth, coaxial, optical, and then center is play pause, which when you're on anything that's not Bluetooth acts as your mute button. So you could have, you could just mute it. Turning on and off is almost as fast as muting it, but just mute it. Oh, my kilowatts here, by the way. And when we're- I will tell them bra and a chicken head friend. No Ferrari, no jam, no belly. 12 watts is about the most I can see out of it before I want to die. 12 watts, when it's paused and there's nothing playing, seven and a half. When you power it off, 2.2 watts, 2.1 watts, 2.3 watts, 2.2 watts, because it's waiting for me to turn it on. So two watts when it's off, turn it on and nothing's playing, seven, 7.6, when something is playing. <laughs> One from 10 to 13, so 10 to 13 watts. That seems remarkably efficient, by the way, for the amount of sound and the fact that we're pushing an eight-inch subwoofer. So the the this is the like I'd really need to get like a piece of tape and put it at the bottom here, just like a big fat piece of tape. This one I'm reaching for this when it's when the lights are not quite as bright and it's sort of in the shadows. You can't. You, you don't mess up left and right, you mess up completely 180 degrees. It's like, uh, and then you go to touch things and you look like an idiot. I do like it. It just feel good in the hand. It's like, oh, wow. It's like, mm, do it to me, daddy. Rock frozen. Rock hybrid. Bach. Fucking Bach sounds great here. I think Edifier might have, has Edifier ever put out a stinker? Not really. They asked me to review some cheap headphones of theirs and I literally went like, 
But I mean, these speakers, the this, this whole generation, the Edifier Air Pulse, I may have to steal off a truck because take this design, like the, the, the clean lines and everything, make it a six and a half inch actual speaker with a giant air motion tweeter for like a thousand dollars. I, 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 I don't even know. Let's, let's see if I can finagle those out because this, this, is an amazing introduction to Edifier if you've never had it. Listen to this just... This is Quigley Down Under, by the way. If you haven't seen that movie, Tom Selleck plays an American cowboy who goes to Australia because um, uh, Snape wants him to shoot Aborigines. And he's like, I ain't gonna come shoot Aborigines. And he's like, well, I'm gonna fucking shoot you, says Snape. And then he goes running out into the wilderness with, with Laura Sandria Coma with the big titties. And then he has to side with the Aborigines, but they're all trying to kill him. And they're all Australians, so they're dumb as fuck. And then, not that Australians are, but back in that movie, they're just like, oh, we're Australians, we can kill them. And at the end, there's a great shootout. And oh, it's great. It's a great movie. Maybe I'll link to Quigley Down Under on Amazon video. These feel so light. The word is light. Here's the thing, the word on these speakers is light. And then you look in the middle. I'm trying to get something bassy to just kick on. And I'm sailing. I, I can't. There's a reason that these have been on my desk for like six months, four months, three months. At least three months, maybe four. They fucking sound amazing. I mass, I do my head. If I'm not feeling them like wearing headphones, which is something that happens to me a lot because apparently I have to do that for a living. But if I don't feel like wearing headphones and I'm doing like sound demo editing, these are fine. <laughs> these are light and these is, this is heavy. And these are cheap and they're well made. And other than the remote having an annoying quirk, and that wire being too short, which I'm going to fix with the link in the description, these are a hundred fucking percent better than any soundbar. Throw more low end than any powered monitor you can get. Minus like eight inch ones. They're small. They're pewdy. They're, well, that was pretty and beautiful. They're pewdy full. And I'm done talking about them. Um, I don't have a sound demo for these yet. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make one. Like I'm very sure I'm going to have to get the Neumanns out. But until then, wallpaper is in the description. Sound demo is probably in the description. Links to things are in the description. Uh, links to my Patreon, which um, will not be getting these. I have the box and I'm like, should I sell these? And I just, I'm gonna put them back there. And maybe in another couple months, maybe something else comes around that I could replace them with. But until then, nothing fucking beats these for a cramped desk location. Cause you put this on the floor and look how these are smaller than a foam block, All right? Go, my minions. Spread the love. Spread the word of the S350TB. On the Patreon in the upper right in the description. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Oh, also, there's a um, yard sales from the 1st to the 10th where I will sell other things that are not these. So if you want to bid on any of that stuff for cheap, it's only $5 a month. And if you actually bid and win, you could save a lot of money. And if you want to bid, want to pledge $10 a month, you get into a super secret, super cool club where uh, like 60 people and I just discuss how the peasants uh, go about audio. And we're like, ha, 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 ha. Uh, I wax my feet with vinyl. That doesn't make any sense. Shut up. All right. I'm done here. Are we done here? We're good here. Out.